you got to be kidding me. You're talking about scientists who aren't considered scientists who kowtowed so badly to the to the Catholic Church that uh, we're forced to call it religious people because, well, if they weren't religious, we'd have never heard anything about them. Okay? We hear about Galileo because the church tried to quash it, throw him in jail. So, Mr. Tyson, uh, are you a Christian? Are you trying to get intelligent design into schools? Is that what this is about? Because if it is, you've just, I've just lost all respect for you. All respect. I don't want to hear what uh, Galileo had to say, what Ptolemy had to say, what, uh, uh, you know, uh, Newton had, I, it doesn't matter. They hid a lot of their work because the Catholic Church didn't allow it to be said, didn't allow it to be published. So we don't even know what they really felt. They, in fact, even Darwin was actually going to seminary school and all that crap. I don't think, you know, you, you know everybody wanted to have, have their religion within their schools back then. You couldn't go to a school without it having something to do with the religion, the 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 religion of the times of the place it was weird you know so that's it's kind of like a, a moot argument so you're, you're using that as an argument as to why we should maybe include intelligent design into the curriculum what the hell makes you think schools or teachers should even go close to teaching religion because that's what you're doing the only place this comes from is religion. And it's called intelligent design because they don't want to say creation. It sounds too godlike. They're just trying to get along. They're just trying to assuage our feelings so they can be accepted. Once they get in there, their insidious little appendages will climb their way into the rest of the body, insinuate themselves, and they're, they're like a cancer. Religions are like cancers. Nasty. Nasty bodies that don't belong in your system. So what the hell? And, and, uh, you want to put up an argument for intelligent design. And your argument comes from the standpoint of uh, uh, 16th and 15th century scientists. Just because they happen to mention <laughs> Earth-centric or whatever. Come on. Get a grip, Tyson. Get a grip. Try that some other place, okay? <laughs> we don't want intelligent creationism in the school, especially taught as a science. Knock it off. You're starting to really irritate me. I used to like listening to you. Starting to get away from that because I start thinking about creationism every time you open your mouth now. Stop it. Grow up, stop it, okay? Yeah, dude.